Angela, you live alone? Uh, no, I live with my boyfriend. Uh, you say in your papers that you had a friend, a best friend, a pet. Yeah, Rudy. And pet was a rabbit? Yes. What kind um, of rabbit was it? It was a long-eared miniature rabbit. You have pictures there. Is that what yes. you want me to see? Yes. Would um, you hand them to my court officer, please? You say that mm -hmm. uh, a dog that was visiting at the defendant's house got loose somehow and attacked your rabbit and killed your rabbit. Basically, yes. Um, but she let somebody in to show supposedly a car that she was selling. I don't know if that's true or not. But the animal, a uh, black lab, um, jumped over into the garden, <laughs> through the garden, over into my patio, probably about seven by six feet. And immediately, I'm sitting there um, just watching the television. I ran out the door, and this lab was tearing uh, Rudy's cage apart. And I was doing whatever I could. I was fighting him off with my fist. I've been around animals all my life. And I'm trying to get his attention towards me. You know, I'd rather him bite me or whatever than, you know, um, get Rudy. I could not, when, no matter what I did. He tore that cage apart. I fell. I hurt my back. I hurt my arm. I hurt my, I hurt my um, upper thigh. There was nothing I could do. He just kept going for Rudy. Kept, kept, kept I got going. Him. He ended up jumping over into the garden with Rudy. You've seen the rabbit in her house? I saw only the picture. She want to show me the picture. Well, you agree that this wasn't her dog, that it was a dog that was visiting her house, right? You, you don't say that that was her dog. Mm, no. Um, I can't say that it was it's her dog. dog. It's not your dog, was it's it? It's not my dog. It's, uh, I got that coming to see my car. I'm selling the car because I'm living back to Israel. And actually, I didn't know that she coming with the dog. I just opened her the door to let her in to to go out to the to the other parking because it's a really big building. And that's it. And I actually, and when I go outside, I hear screaming, and <clears throat> I saw Angela running with a table and screaming, "He killed my rabbit! He killed my rabbit!" I didn't understand. I didn't know what's going on. And, and then the lady left. Yeah. But you, according to your answer to her papers, you felt very badly about it and did feel sort of responsible for what happened, and you, you gave her some money. I gave her some money because I, I feel so sorry for her when I see her, how she was crying and how she, she was calling me, you know, like a couple, couple times a day to tell me she, she wants me to understand how much she loved the rabbit. And I understand. I feel so... Sorry for her because of that, because I know that she has the rabbit for, this is what she told me, actually, I never saw it before, but she told me that she loves so much the rabbit, and she, it was a good friend of her. You so know? you took so. out, according to your answer, $100, and you gave it to her, is that right? Um, she gave me $100, and I was very disappointed, I because um, I brought her over to the house, and I wanted her to go and see what this dog had done to my friend. She wouldn't go out there. She wouldn't look. She wouldn't go and see what had happened. Angela, not everybody can look at an animal that's been <coughs> brutalized the way your friend Rudy was brutalized by this dog, but it wasn't her dog. And she tried to, what she thought, to do the right thing, which was to send you something so that you could replace the rabbit. Now, nobody can replace a pet. You don't replace a pet that's been killed. You don't replace a pet that di that's died. But she wanted to give you something it's like that if you... like replacing a child. Of course. You don't do that. But some people will have another child. And I assume that you gave her the money so that she could buy another rabbit. Actually, I gave her the... First of all, I, I said to her that I want to buy a new rabbit. I told you, again, because it just because I... It's not because I feel responsible. It's only because she was crying and let me understand how much she loved the rabbit.